Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. What is this thing here? Hold on. Uh, try to clear up. Welcome back to another episode. Oh, it's empty. Uh, of uh, a Hermit Pack from the Hermitcraft server. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking fantastic. Guess what? Is Cal still ill? Th this is ridiculous. It's like nine days in now. Uh, I'm trying though, uh, my, my voice is a lot better obviously, but I'm still like sneezing and stuff. Guys, today, what I want to do, like I said last time, I got a pran, hold on, is my volume, no, my volume is good. I got a pran for today, which I'm very excited about. I want to try and create the Scallion Zombie Lab of Doom. Hashtag it. <laughs> This is gonna be pretty crazy, and uh, last time I asked you guys for a few uh, pictures, for those of you who watched the entire video, uh, I asked you guys to uh, to create uh, a logo for this thing, and I got a few sent on Twitter, not nearly as many as I would, uh, as I was expecting, because last time I did that, I got like a hundred, uh, but I got a few, and I think we, we'll take a look at those in a minute. What I want to do first, though, uh, I want to head over to, uh, is it this thing? Uh, no, Dime D, Redstone World. Okay, I want to head over to my dream world. I just can't figure out where have I put my dream world. I haven't been there in so long because we need to collect a crap ton of gold. Now, today, we got some really technical stuff to solve. But yeah, we're, we're out of gold, so we definitely need, uh, need gold for the golden apples. Oh, it's in here. Oh, okay, so it's already charged. Okay, so let's go uh, like this, and then it's because I haven't been here in ages. And I thought we could do this together, because uh, you, you guys you guys freaking love this dimension. Uh, it's overpowered of doom, but uh, whatever. Okay, let me just see. We need to have, yeah, we need to have this thing on our bar, uh, in case we run out of energy. And we also got our teleporter. Okay. Let's freaking do this. Now, real quick, guys, thank you uh, uh, so much for your support in Hermit Pack, and uh, thank you for, for the likes and the comments and everything. Keep it up. Uh, make sure if you enjoy this video that you hit the like button down below, and uh, what is this? Oh, a blaze spawner that I put down here. Oh, and this is my little diamond quarry, or is this Randog that's been... No, this is me that dug this. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Let's freaking go super OP here. Let's use this to, to mine out a gold ball uh, of some sort. But yeah, thank you a million for for uh, uh, still uh, supporting Hermit Pack, and uh, if you if you uh, continue to love this series, of course, uh, make sure you hit the like button down below. Uh, okay, let's try and get this entire orb. This should be, yeah. Look at this. This is filled with gold. This dimension is so freaking OP, though, dude. It is crazy. All right, I think I got it. This block here that I placed. Right click, there we go. Okay, please dig out the gold ball, uh, the gold ball exactly and nothing else. Ooh, lag, lag, please server, catch up. I know we're doing OP stuff, but uh, please be nice. Okay, I need to send, the, uh, oh crap, I need, an, uh, I need a chest of some sort. Uh, oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, well there is, a, <laughs> there is a chest in this house. Hold on, what is this? Let me just have a look at these. Uh, this is right next to spawn. I guess I haven't really explored anything here. Uh, sky dimlet, biome dimlet, uh, material dimlet. Feature, okay, well, nothing nothing too spicy. Okay, so we have a chest. Now, the question is, can I upgrade this to a golden chest without iron? No, only to copper. Okay, uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna fill this chest up, but that's fine. So let's put that down there, and then this here. Go. Okay, clear it, please. There we go, look at that. Why am I getting mushrooms? I, I guess I killed a cow. Uh, okay, so that's that's good. Let's break the, the chest. This is pro tactic. Uh, and then we'll just put it in here. Okay, so we had like 18 blocks of gold in our system before we went and did this. I just want to see, like, this is a smaller orb. I'm curious to see how much we're actually getting. Because this, this feels so freaking insane. This is ridiculous, dude. Oh, look at that. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, except for the bottom level. Maybe I'll mine that out manually. Yeah, so let me just mine this out, this level here, manually. This is insane, dude. Oh, actually, this may be... No, no, no. This should be fine. Yeah, let me mine... It. Like I said, 18 blocks of gold we had in our system. Now, take your guesses. Don't you cheat. Go down in the comment section right now and you take your guesses how many blocks, uh, stacks of blocks uh, of gold that we have. 18 we had. I'm gonna guess around 2,000. That may be a bit a bit too much, but I'm gonna guess 2,000. Take your guesses, don't cheat. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, like I said, take your guesses. Uh, let's let's head back home. This is gonna be exciting. It's where, like I said before, it's so freaking OP. Okay, gold. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, I said 2,000. 14,164 gold blocks. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. Okay, so that would be enough for a while. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're going to need golden apples. So the next thing we should do, like I said, uh, this episode is going to be very technical to get this to work. But the next thing we need to do uh, is add a golden apple recipe to our system. That should be fairly easy. Uh, oh, hold on. It's my... Oh, it's my system over... Uh, place? Did I just fall through my base? It's my system over full again. Oh, it is. Hold on. What is going on? Um... Oh, creeper catalyst. Yes, because we're spawning in creepers to get gunpowder. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot to put these in drawers. That has been running for like a few days. Okay, let me fix that real quick. I'm just going to build another drawer. There we go. A uh, beautiful drawer. By the way, I've got a lot of questions for how to make the drawers pretty. Well, use this uh, frame drawers, right, in a framing table. Then you can select the, I believe this is the uh, surrounding block, this is the front, and this is like the border. So I'm using, uh, yeah, the steel box surrounding, this is the front, and this is the border, right there. That's how you do it, Ren, uh, be because one of the questions were from Ren. Okay, anyway, let me just do something like this. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to empty out my system. And there we go, that's that going. Just real quick to uh, re-show you, I suppose. Oh, is that it? No, we had over 20,000. To re-show you this system, uh, I have an export bus uh, uh, sitting... Is that, is that... No, no, it's going. Yeah, I have an export bus here on my drawer controller. And then I shut off my external storage thing uh, down there with a redstone signal that's linked up to this button right over there. Right? And when I do that, um, it's going to take all the things that are in here that matches the export filter and put it into the storage drawer. So, uh, this here will then be exported. However, I think I need to refresh it in order to actually see it. There's some kind of bug going on. Uh, let's just... Uh, yeah, that's all of them. Okay, so if I now turn my drawers on and then off, I think... Yeah, look at that. Now they're all gone and also... We got storage space! Uh, I, I, can't, I couldn't have to notice that we have 6,000 <laughs> 6, creeper heads. Okay, maybe I should deal with them too whilst I'm at it. And just real quick as well, if you want to do this with 2x2, two two, you just use the 2x2 two two framed one. So now, uh, if I want like a smaller one like this, I'll do that and then I'll lock that. Uh, and then install the void upgrades and upgrades. And there we go, the creeper heads has been... Uh, Put into this thing here. Nice. Okay. So like I said, the first thing we got to do is teach our system how to make golden apples. Now that's going to be pretty simple. Uh, we also have an income from the old factory of apples. So I think we're pretty much good. If we go in... Uh, hold on. Where is it? Oh, crap. I keep... You know what I should do? I should have another pattern grid uh, behind here. And there we go. Pattern grid. Okay. Let's just plop that there for now. Uh, and then I'll put my patterns in there. Okay, so like I said, this is super straightforward. Let's make it uh, create golden apples like that and then save that to a pattern. And we'll plop that in. Uh, hopefully I have an empty crafter. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, we have one over here. Okay, so let's put that there. Nice. Uh, then we got to do... Yeah, now it's the tricky part. I'm pretty sure this episode will have to be split into two parts into making the zombie lab because this is going to be tricky. Uh, but now we got to teach it how to make potions. Because in order to cure villagers, by the way, if you didn't watch last episode, you have no idea what we're doing. We're going to try and make an automated machine that we call the zombie lab, where we curate uh, zombie villagers into villagers automatically. And just to address one thing that was said in the last episode, they said, Hey, crazy fool, why are you not spawning villagers immediately, you idiot? Well, villagers are actually blacklisted in the powered spawners in this pack, and that's a default setting in Ender.io. So, we gotta be clever, bro. Plus, it's more fun this way, I think. Uh, but, okay, anyway. So, yeah, like I was saying, now comes the tricky part. I gotta figure out a system to auto-brew potions using refined storage. Uh, because we're gonna need the potion of weakness, splash potion of weakness. This is gonna be tricky. I don't think there's any mod that gives us brewery. Uh, in this, oh, weakness mod, hold on, this module gives weakness when used in the environmental controller. Oh, dude, this may be the way to do this. Instead of doing potions, oh, this may be a good thing. So instead of doing potions, we could just build an environmental thing. 
Oh, we gotta try this out, dude. Now I'm excited. Oh, ho, ho. also, the reason we want uh, villagers is because I need emerald income, which you can see I have none. Oh, that sucks. I gotta, I gotta find some emeralds. Okay. Why didn't I have any iron, by the way? That's weird. Uh, but hold on. Let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I just need emerald. Yeah, this may be the way to do this. So instead of using weakness potions, we use this thing here, the environmental controller, to infuse them with weakness. Okay. Oh, that is an excellent idea. Do I have any bats in soul vials? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I gotta find a bat. I, I, I freaking hate bats. I don't know if I'm blocking bats, though. I may be blocking bats. If I am... I could possibly borrow the, the syringe freaking bat. Hold on, I think it's in here. Uh, yeah, in here. Hold on, do I have a bat in here? Oh, I have a bat. Okay. I wonder if this bat will die if I syringe him. Place pretty, but pretty bat. Just okay. No, no, no. I need to hit him. I need to hit him. What? Crap! Don't, please, please don't go. Ah, please. This guy, the freaking. What? Where did he go? Please don't despawn. No, he's here. Okay. I freaking hate bats. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a little chamber for you. Uh, okay, did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, okay. Let's make a little chamber instead because I, I can't be chasing bats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just grab this weird thing here that, that I made ages ago. I don't know what the crap it is, but uh, something where the bats cannot get out, but I can uh, hit them through. Uh, because they're like one by one. They're like tiny. Uh, yeah, let's try it with this. Yeah, like I said, uh, I got so much inspiration from seeing your guys' response last time. Absolutely crazy. So, I got some prans for this place. Uh, but okay, let's do this and also let's put that there. Hopefully the bat can't get out. Bat, uh, p please be syringed. P please. Okay. Okay, he's gonna die. 30%. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, it, it is working. Okay, he's... Crap. I'm I'm sorry, bat. <laughs> now we need to catch a new bat for the for the for the base here as well. Oh, look at this! This is good. <laughs> They're gonna spawn in like crazy now that I'm not blocking them. Okay, let's just let's just go crazy. Skip skip our thing. There we go. Okay, I got one hit. One, two, two, please. Okay, I think I'm done. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, let's grab this guy. But please, seriously, a stupid inventory tweaks just switched it out yeah i got the bat okay let me put him back in the system now what we're gonna do the next thing we're gonna try then uh is we're gonna try and craft uh this thing up and see if it will work on villager zombies because that's not uh a hundred percent sure that that's how that works all right so there we go weakness module made and then we need the environmental controller which i think i started crafting up here uh, my best base is still um, uh, still a mess. No, okay, I didn't. But uh, there, there we go. Boom. Let's clear that. Okay. Uh, so I got a villager zombie here. So what we gotta do? Let's uh, let's see. Yeah, we have power. Let's find a test area for this. And also, of course, let's craft up a crap ton of golden apples. Uh, 192. Fine by me. We 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 be freaking rich. Uh, let's grab some of these, please. There we go. Uh, okay. I think I wanna. I, I've been thinking in between episodes. Uh, I dug this area out by mistake when I was building uh, Blaze's factory right here. So I dug this out by mistake. I think this is a good spot for the zombie lab. So this is where we're gonna put it. So also, let let's do the tests over here. Now, this thing here. We'll put in the weakness thing, right? And we can set the radius to this thing. 50, uh, yeah, sure, for now. that That's okay. And then let's give it some juice. There we go. Uh, what channel are you? Okay, channel number five. All right, my dog started barking. I, did, I don't know what the crap's wrong with him. There was some, someone in the elevator, but whatever. Uh, okay, so what I want to try, let's put him down here. Now, I don't know how this is affecting it, but it seems to be working. This module only works on mobs. Okay, this module gives weakness when used in the environmental control. Yes, yeah, so we're doing that. We have ignored redstone. He's definitely within range. Okay, so can we give you a golden apple? Ah, uh, no. No, okay, does this not work? Oh, I think I may have done it, guys. Oh, I have no idea if that worked. Hold on, we gotta try that again. Um, yeah, let me do it. I have one more test subject right here. Hold on, let me show you what I did. Let me just put this down. Okay? Uh, this guy's definitely affected. I, I did right-click an apple on him. Okay, and now I did it on this guy as well. 
that means that they have weakness, right? Because I don't think that will work if they don't have weakness. So what I did, if you look at Wayla or One Probe up there, you see entity.zombie.name is the name of these freaking idiots. I no freaking clue why. Uh, and I added that name here, and I don't know if that helped. Look at how much power this is using as well. Oh, 6,000 per tick. But okay, let me see if these uh, change. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so this villager just changed. This is insane. Okay, so definitely no potion of weakness needed there. I don't know what's up with this guy though, because this guy got... Okay. Okay, there we go. Both of them changed. There we go. That is awesome. And now we can clearly see the potion of weakness effect on them. So I wonder if this did the trick. Uh, I guess I'll play around with that a little bit. Now... There are a crap ton of other things we need to solve here uh, before we can uh, before we can make this happen. Uh, praise the unfreeze. Thank you. Uh, yeah, like I said, there are a crap ton of other things that we need to work out. So let me grab some stuff uh, for this idea. What we need to do basically, uh, we're gonna spawn in the villager zombies. Then we gotta trap. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna trap them and take them one by one, and that's gonna be challenging. Now, now listen up. That's gonna be really challenging. Uh, so we gotta we gotta take them from a spawner. Possibly. Hold on. Let me just dig here. Yeah, I think what I want to do with this thing, I kind of want to have like a display window uh, where you can see the pr where you can see the process of them being uh, being handled in the zombie lab. Uh, and that freaking water needs to I, I need to clear that from above because I don't want any sweaty drips dripping down. Uh, but yeah, so we spawn in the villagers or zombies, then we put them on a conveyor belt, um, and then we need to put them into holding cells. Where they get the weakness effect applied to them, uh, and then uh, the golden apple uh, shot onto them, right? And then over to storage of villagers. That that's right. We're gonna call it storage of villagers because villagers are freaking stupid. Uh, and what I think I'm gonna do? Oh, I just got another idea though that I need to try out. Uh, no, no, that's not gonna work. I was thinking we could do capture mode. Yeah, I think I th uh, I I was thinking we could do capture mode with the uh with the uh uh Endryo spawner, but we can't because the villagers are blacklisted, right? Yeah, yeah, to get to to get one of these to be in capture mode, uh they need to have so, so this is a zombie villager. They need to have like a zombie villager spawn and then you can do capture and you can put these in. Uh so what we will do instead is like a manual machine uh to to capture them in soul vials. And then we'll save them somewhere and we'll build a god machine in the future that will, uh, uh, where, where we can uh, browse through them, basically. Now, the challenges ahead is we're only ever going to be able to have X amount of spawning chamber or holding chambers. And it takes up to five minutes to convert a villager. So the system needs to uh, know whenever it's spawned in a villager and then wait until it spawns new ones. This is going to be a challenging thing. This is going to be a tricky thing. But just to uh, plan this out a little bit. Uh, like I said, if, if we can today get this to a functioning level, I'm going to be happy with that. And then tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but <laughs> next time, uh, whenever that, whenever I feel inspired to, to continue this, we'll design it, basically. Uh, but yeah, just to plan out, we'll have zombie villagers spawning out there. Then what we got to do is we got to take them on conveyor belts this way. Uh, and then we got to separate them. Okay, so that is the first challenge. How do we separate them so that we all, always get one by one coming through a little gate? Because they will clog up. Actually, let me show you what will happen. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing spawns things in. Uh, so let's just give it some juice and then we'll do uh, spawn mode and active. Uh, okay, and so it spawns in. It takes about uh, seven... Uh, what's it doing? Okay, seven seconds uh, to spawn and then it spawns anywhere between I believe anywhere between between two and four Okay, so let's try this again uh, Spawn always active. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then shut it off So all of them will will spawn within this red box that much. We know we can turn that off now uh, So let's do uh, hide range and then they all uh, Yeah, so so then we have conveyor belt somehow and we we gather them in one area now Here's the first challenge. We need to separate these because if we have uh, two of them in the same box, or if we try and, and, and cure all of these over here, they're going to, uh, the first that changes is going to be eaten by the others because they don't change at the exact same time. 
Hold on, I just realized something that may change my plan entirely. Hold on, does zombie villagers drop emeralds? Where the crap am I getting emeralds from? Let's just double, uh, let's spawn in a few more. Uh, because we're doing this whole thing to get emerald income. That, that would be so bad if they all drop emeralds. Uh, okay, hold on, let me kill the, we have three emeralds now. Let's put these on our bar. Uh, and we got looting on our sword. Yeah, place, oh, look at that. He held an emerald for sure. Are you kidding me? Zombie villagers are dropping emeralds. Oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Hold on, how can I see that? How can I confirm that? We have like dungeon chest villager trades. Um, yeah, we should have had something in here that shows you uh, that they dropped from zombie villagers. Also, this may void the entire idea of even making a zombie lab. Uh, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hold on. I am pretty sure they do drop them. So, what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do this. Let's install the zombie villager spawner in our system. In the mob popper. Right? And uh, then, I'm, I'm, I guess I'll go AFK for like half an hour. And we'll see if, they, uh, if we get a crap ton of emeralds by doing so. Okay, I'm just hooking this up. Uh, cyan, I think, was what I selected. Yeah, that color there. Uh, up in the control room above the above the mob popper. I love this freaking farm. I really do love this farm. I haven't painted the, the spawner yet, but that's okay. Okay, active with a signal. That's fine. Yeah, let's try this out. You guys, this, uh, this might be a big derp moment uh, on my behalf. Uh, hold on. I think it's space, space, zombie, villager. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's toggle that. Uh, op oops, I need to I need to activate toggle. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that works. Yeah, okay, that links up to that. Okay, so let's have a look in our system. Emerald. Uh, we got six emeralds. These are not, uh, these are fake emeralds. Yeah, I guess I'll just trash can these because I, I keep picking them up thinking that I'm, that I'm emerald rich. Let's uh, get rid of those. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then emerald. Okay, so we got seven in the system now. Let's put these... We got 12. Yeah, we're definitely getting emeralds by doing this. Look at that. Oh, this is a bit cheaty. I like it, though. I have nothing against this. But that kind of voids my idea of making the zombie lab. Because, honestly, we're not going to need vanilla villagers for trading and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is insane! Okay, so I left this running. Yeah, look at this, 2,500 emerald. Okay, so I, I let this, uh, I let the zombie spawn run for a little while. And this has spawned in so many zombies. Um, I think they're spawning, uh, from social spawning, right? That must be the thing. Hold on, let me disable this. Oh, this is even FPS like I guess I should just leave my base. Uh, <laughs> Let, let let them roam. Alright, let's see if they despawn now. That was insane though. Look at the beautiful sunrise that we're having. I barely have any voice left, by the way. Uh, fr fr freaking illness won't go away. <coughs> but yeah, it does look like I despawned them. Okay, good. That is a scary thing though. I don't know how to deal with that. Um, <clears throat> the fact that they... Uh, the fact that they spawn. Okay. Whatever. I've, I've taken, uh, like I said, I took like a six hour AFK time here. And that wasn't good for my voice. Because uh, now my voice is worse. But uh, I've decided to not use the, uh, uh, to, to, not, to not make this machine, basically. Because it is unnecessary. As you saw, we now have a crap ton of emeralds as well. Um, what I do want to do, though. I want to go on my Twitter. And I want to find the, the awesome uh, uh, screens or logos that you guys made, and I want to show you that, so let me, uh, I'll pick out the top three ones that I really, uh, really liked, uh, yeah, let, let me get that sorted, oh, I can't get the last one to work, but check this out, so, uh, the last one is a hand-drawn image, and I can't make it small enough for, uh, uh, for the, uh, for the screens from Extra Utilities to work, but check this out, unfortunately, uh, I downloaded these as I got them on Twitter, right, and I went back on Twitter now and tried to get your name for these, but uh, unfortunately Twitter history is, uh, doesn't go that far back with notifications, so I don't actually have your guys' name. I think this was from Zagina Box, uh, but this one here, 
I really like it. Look at this. Look at that text. This is gorgeous. I wonder if that's a font. Or if that's like hand drawn. Because that is insane. But thank you guys so much for submitting these. And like I said, there is a hand drawn as well. That was absolutely epic. But that I couldn't get into, uh, into the screens. Uh, what I want you to do. The person who did this uh, thing here. Please tweet me again. With your old tweet if you can. And, and uh, uh, claim your credit. Because this is amazing. And uh, this one as well. I really like the emerald eyes on this one. It's fr freaking demented looking. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> guys. My voice is completely gone again. I need to slow down on videos this week. Unfortunately. Probably. Uh, because. Uh, yeah. I, I need to get freaking healthy again. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to call the episode there for today. I'm sorry that we didn't build a zombie lab. I was really uh, looking forward to it. But like I said. No need. Uh, we, we found a better way of getting emeralds. Can't believe that no one of you have commented that to me. Brand new. Hashtag. Look at this. Yeah. 2,562. There we go. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed Hermit Pack. And uh, like I said earlier, if you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe if you're new. Have a fantastic evening. And I'll see you in the next episode.